Beats One LDN. This is London. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, that was cool. That was so impressive. Did not expect that. I love when I chuck on my jingles and my guests are like, whoa. Yeah. That's very DJ. tasty. Do you guys like my sound design, first of all? That's e. a backspin. Is that correct? Well, you've gone super technical. Yeah, what well, oh. I should, I've underestimated you completely. <laughs> I'm joining the studio right now in the Beats One on the studio by two members of the wonderful Warpaint guys. Welcome to the show. I've got Emily and Stella. Yes. For life. Welcome. For, for life. life. So there you go. There's your welcome to the UK. <laughs> Thank you. You've Thank been you. here for a while though. You've been playing a few shows. Seven days now. What has been your favourite moment of, of that experience? I think that maybe um, Manchester, Albert Hall, when there was a serious mosh pit for I at saw, least four songs. I saw the tweet. Someone was like, people are mosh pitting to your chilled out relaxing yeah. songs I don't our get it are, <laughs> there's a lot of tension in our relaxed songs so I get it I think there's subliminal messages in our music if you like play the records really? backwards and it's like <laughs> keep marching <laughs> dance dance yeah. constantly <laughs> don't stop moving your body I always I was, <laughs> I always wonder when people play music for the first time, go from playing an old album to a new album. Yeah. What are the challenges in doing that? I think it's there's like two sets of challenges. One, it's for us, we're so aware of the fact that they're new songs. So we're kind of like, I, I guess not hesitant, but just like. Still finding them. Sensitive to it. And we don't yeah. want to bum people out and just like, here is our entire new album that you've <laughs> never heard. Right. And you have to sit down. You have to like it. <laughs> We kind of try and massage it into the set so it's palpable and, and I don't know, I think kind of easy to digest. And we try to really deliver it even though we are finding it. Yeah. At, you know, especially in the beginning of touring, you're still kind of finding how to play it live because you haven't done that before. So give me a, give us all a snapshot of the people that are yet to see you guys perform live, are yet to experience that moment. Can you give me a description of... A snapshot in time in the middle of a war paint show. What is every Ooh. single member doing on the stage? Oh, that's uh, a good one. Oh, yeah. Jenny is dancing hard. <laughs> yeah, she's Usually, got this sway. She's got a yeah. figure eight sway with her hips. Yeah. Okay. It's incredible. Right. Um, I am <laughs> probably have my eyes closed because I'm playing guitar and singing and vibing out. Hair in your face. Yeah, hair in my hair face. Hair on one side of your face. <laughs> like the Phantom of the Opera. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have all sides of my face covered with my yeah. hair. Stella's, Stella's hair from my head. cousin it on the drum kit. How mm -hmm. do you see? How can you see? I generally don't have my eyes open when I'm when I'm, my hair's thrashing about. So you just play the drums with your eyes closed. Mm. She's really Not good. Guys. Guys, come Stop on. Out. <laughs> Stop. I'm joined in the Beats One London studio by Emily and Stella from Warpaint. They're currently on a tour. Heads Up is the name of the album. It's the third album. Um, everybody knows the debut album is, is the big one. It's the one that you've had the most time to make. Mm -hmm. Then you get this, technically, it's supposed to be the hard second album. Mm -hmm. What does the third album feel like? What's that process like? For us, it felt like a switch or a kind of change in direction where I think generally the first two albums that you make are can be quite similar in nature because you're just trying to kind of refine your process in a way. And then after, it's more like after touring the third time around that you want to change things up. Okay. It's less about being bored in the studio or trying to kind Rehash of the yeah, same ideas. dramatically change your style or something. It's more refreshing yourself creatively and knowing that you're going to go into another process of learning all the songs that you've just recorded and how do you make that challenging and exciting the third time around okay i think we were really or less challenging yeah whatever More it is fun, like just challenging yeah, yeah. i think that <laughs> was actually upon your mistakes we actually really needed to change it up because and i think this probably happens to a lot of bands and why bands maybe stop getting as interesting is because you fall into a really similar groove with how you make things mm -hmm. and so for us we were like Let's make this a little easier on ourselves and try this process where we we don't do everything as a collective okay. from the ground up. We tried bringing in things, people brought in songs and their own ideas and we built upon that. And and um, I don't know if we really thought we were going to do it that way, but it's how it ended up working. And it was so much faster and it was more fun. Mm -hmm. So it was good for us. Did a lot of those influences come? Because I know that you guys didn't split up, but you went and did different projects. You worked on different things. You released different music. You... Mm -hmm toured with different people mm -hmm. did a lot of that then come from the fact that you hadn't been together every day and working on music and so you were able to sort of bring in these outside influences yeah everybody I think had done what they needed to do for themselves more and so mm. there was first of all that was exercise so people mm -hmm. got some stuff out of their system and there wasn't so much pressure on the band yeah and and then also honed your own creative styles and so there was individual strength 
in the collective instead of just like this one head that mm-hmm. we've done before where yeah. we make an album for like four years because we're like, wait, should we? Okay. Can we? Oh, do we? No. Can we? Do okay. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it forever. So describe to me then, talk to me about the first day that all, all four of you guys were back in the studio. It was war paint day. You'd done the separate mm-hmm. projects. What was that first session like? Or was it even a session? Was it you guys well, just? It was. David Bowie had died. Yes. The, the, day, the day before. before. Wow. And we went in the studio and listened to David Bowie and built built our studio out of our practice space. Mm-hmm. So we basically took our practice space and started making it something to record in. Yeah, and I think it was actually, room and stuff. Yeah. it was such a great uh, way to enter the studio because it was such a celebration of somebody who was so prolific and such an ever-changing artist. And, um, and so I think that kind of set the tone. For what became Heads Up. Yeah. And then yeah. you have Heads Up the album. Mm-hmm. It's out. You're mm-hmm. touring. You named it Heads Up, and there's a game called Heads Up. I don't know if you guys even know about this game. Is it an iPhone game? Have you never played it before? No. Do, you want, do you want to play it now? Sure. Yeah. Okay, hold on. How good are you at describing things, first of all? Um, sorry. <laughs> it depends. Is it like a charades kind of thing? Exactly. Okay. So you're going to describe the word without saying any of the word. Oh. That's, this is a great radio game. Cabbage fermented, usually in a Hot jar. Uh, it can Onion- be yellow. Uh, onions? No, Spring fermented. Onions, it's fermented. White. No, the other white Ca- condiment. It's fermented. Cauliflower. It's tangy. I'm not doing this. It's very tangy. Next Polish. one. Okay. Oh, Mexican tortilla chips, cheese, nachos. Thank you. You eat these if you, you are poop. constipated. <laughs> <laughs> what? Cranberries. Mm, Close. Bigger. Whoa. I don't Still know. Still is dried. Beetroot. <laughs> They're kind uh, of like a... Wetter. No, no. <laughs> yep, okay. okay, go on. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ooh. This is a flavoring Nutella. you put in your Nutella. car. Nutella. Chocolate. But with the... Chocolate sauce. With the... The little... The things that make... Nute- Peanuts. The thing that makes bigger. Nutella. Whoa. It's a different kind. Ch- cocoa bean. No, it's very go close to, to what you had before. Go back to the other word. Chocolate, back. cocoa, nut, bean, yeah, cake. Yeah, but what kind? What, what kind of... <laughs> Beach One London with Julia Lanuga.